everyone sorry it's super dark and i'm in a funny position i'm laying on the couch and winnie is laying on top of me so i don't want to get up um happy monday happy new week happy new month happy new vlog it's the first of february today we made it through january i'm so pleased <laughs> that january is over and we made it to february next month it'll be spring what a nice thought um, anyway, have nothing really to update you on yet today, just your standard Monday in lockdown. Um, but I'm going to go and show you all of the updates on the kitchen and um, yeah, I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to show you the kitchen quickly while the um, builder is on his lunch break. So I showed you at the end of last week's vlog, like a brief little overview of how things were looking. Um, but I did like while I was talking about something else, but I didn't properly talk it through. So you can see we've got skirting boards now. So these need to be properly corked in before we can paint. So basically it's like a filler that goes between these gaps to um, fill it all in and make sure it looks nice. I think we're meant to do it ourselves. Like it's part of the decorating. So it's not really what the builder does, but um, we'll have to see what happens. So we've got a skirting up here as well. The door has now got a frame on it. And again, that needs to be filled because the ceiling's a little bit slanted. Um, that's how the toilet's looking. There's all skirting in here. This needs to be boxed in though. Today he has built like a fake back for the cupboard, but we can still get to the fuse board and stuff. He's put all of the kickboards on the bottom of the cupboards and the drawers. So it looks really good now because you can't see the ugly gap underneath. It looks so different once those are on. Hello Archie. Hello Winnie. <laughs> um, and oh, and he's put the skirting down there. I was actually gonna mention that to him today, but he's done that, so that's good. And obviously all the skirting is going to be painted um so you know it's not gonna look like this for very long it's gonna look nice same as the coving anyway it is looking really good now and i feel like i've been saying it for ages and then we've had all of these delays but it really is getting close to being finished now at the very least like their part of it is getting really close to being finished um i think it's pretty much just putting some edging on some countertops, boxing in the sink and the toilet, and then tiling the walls. And I'm pretty sure that after that, their part is like all finished. So um, yeah, then it will be down to us getting it all painted and, and finishing touches and everything. But I'm so happy, like I can't believe this is our kitchen. Every time I look at it, I just can't believe it's, this is our kitchen. So yeah, it's getting there. Just got home, I went to get bedding for the rabbits and my order from Marks and Spencers, which included this mug with a little chocolate dapple sausage dog on it. I wonder why I might have wanted this. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why I might have wanted this. So I haven't filmed anything else today because all I did was teach in the morning and then go to the tip. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you today's kitchen progress. Um, everything's cleared off the sides because my dad was tiling yesterday. Um, and just a reminder as well, my dad is actually a contractor. He runs his own building company. So we have officially like hired him and his team to work on the house. So we're not breaking any lockdown rules or anything. Hi. But yeah, so my dad was tiling yesterday. Oh, and also he's obviously completely over COVID now. It's been three weeks since he was first poorly. Oh, lovely. 
You like having granddad popping in, don't you? But you don't understand why you're not allowed to go and see him. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, they were tiling yesterday. Um, so that is very nearly done. They've just got a few like end pieces to cut and put in and then around the window. Potentially that will be grouted tomorrow. My dad thinks that they only need one more day here, which is so exciting. It's exactly eight weeks to the day um, tomorrow since it all started. Um, I showed you the other day that all the kickboards are in, but they also put in this end panel. <laughs> Sorry, my throat is being funny. I was laying down and laughing and it's made my throat go all funny. Um, <clears throat> they've put in this end panel um, to fill in that gap there. They are boxing in the sink tomorrow and they were boxing in the toilet yesterday. And this little piece here so that can all be painted also they had an extra pair of hands yesterday so all those bits that I showed you last week I think that needed to be filled they've actually gone ahead and done that for us so it's ready to be painted they've done the gap above the door um, they've sealed around those worktops there um, but they've also sealed all of the skirting boards so there's no gaps anymore um, so it's ready to be painted which is really exciting because I thought we were gonna have to do that ourselves also, because the um, cupboard is all boxed in now, they trimmed down some of the shelves and put them in here. So we have a decent amount of shelves in our larder cupboard now, which is really exciting. And I'm hoping that all being well, if everything is finished tomorrow, we can like put everything in here and obviously I'll film that process. Um, that might not be till Thursday to be fair. Um, but yeah, I am so, chuffed with it just can't believe this is our kitchen and i know that it's all very cream and that that's not necessarily the fashion anymore like it's not necessarily what people like but it's what i like and once we've got our colorful blind we're gonna get a rug as well hi winnie bye <laughs> um we're gonna get a rug as well for this part of the kitchen um i think once all our stuff's in here it will look really nice and honestly i shouldn't be worrying what people think about it anyway because it only matters what we think of it and we like it so yeah that is the kitchen hi everyone happy wednesday it's a bit tricky to film during the day at the moment because obviously the builders and everything are here but they've just gone home for the day unfortunately they do still have to come back tomorrow so it is still going to be one more day but i just want to show you the kitchen because I just went in there and was having a look at what they've done and I like almost had a little cry because I just cannot believe that that is our kitchen. So I'm going to show it to you. So they didn't have a chance to grout today um, because the individual tiles just took so long to put on because the quality of the um, wall underneath was not good. But look, I just, look at my kitchen. Excuse the wires. <laughs> Just look at my kitchen. I just cannot get over the fact that this is ours. It's just insane. Like, I'm so excited. They also finished boxing in the sink and the toilet. So obviously we're going to paint all of those. Um, but yeah, it's like pretty much done. My dad ripped the old blind off as well today. So it feels really light in here right now. Um, obviously we are gonna get new blinds, but um, I, I know which ones I wanna get, but they're quite pricey. So um, I'm sort of umming and ahhing over buying them. Um, but he's ripped the old one off for now to make it look better. Um, and then he's gonna grout tomorrow and they just need to make this good round window. And yeah, then it's done. And I am over the moon. The next thing I wanted to show you is this. It arrived yesterday, it's called a pup drobe. And we are brand ambassadors for pup drobe on Instagram. Um, so we did pay for this with our own money, but we had a discount code to use. Look at that, it's so cute. And I've just filmed an Instagram TV, so an IGTV and a reel of putting this together. 
um, and setting it all up and I'm so excited. I want to like put some more dog related stuff on the wall there um, and eventually I'd quite like to get a set of um, drawers and put them here so that I can put the rest of the dog stuff in there and just have my Calax unit for my craft stuff because um, at the moment the rest of their stuff is in my Calax unit so yeah I'm so happy. Look at that it is gorgeous. I'm just finishing um, editing that IGTV because I want to put it live tonight and um, also I'm gonna put a bunch of the food and stuff in the larder cupboard today so I can get my office back. I'm excited. Hello, I'm in the new kitchen and I'm going to put some of this stuff from our larder cupboard back into the new larder cupboard. Um, we've picked up a few baskets here and there to try and organise things a bit better um, but some stuff doesn't have a basket to go in yet but yeah I'm gonna use what we've got already um, and start popping some stuff in here and I'm so excited to get this stuff out of my craft room. Okay, so we need a smaller box for the crisps at the top, but I'm gonna label all of these up and things will definitely get moved around um, because we want to have another basket for bread related stuff. So like crackers, crumpets, wraps, those sort of things. We want to move in here. Um, but we've got like spreads, sauces, stock sort of thing, nuts and seeds. Um, cans will be down here. This is breakfast bars. I'm going to decant those and put them in a different basket up here. Um, this is pasta and rice. And we've got cereal, sauces, seasonings and like cooking stuff and then like random miscellaneous things. I've also got a basket for baking stuff which I'm going to pop in there. Like I said we need one for bread and um, a few other bits and bobs but it's cool. Okay, it is Thursday lunchtime and the builders have just left for the final time. Everything is done on their end. Um, ignore the fridge because it's not in the right place at the moment, it's all wonky. Um, we need to pull it out to um, paint behind it and sort out all these cables from the Wi-Fi at the top. In case you missed it in one of our previous vlogs, our Wi-Fi router is on top of our kitchen cabinets. Don't ask why. It's the most bizarre thing ever, but it is what it is. Um, but yesterday, today, they grouted these tiles. They've sealed around all of the worktops. Everything is finished and I just couldn't be happier with it. We are so, so pleased. Um, here's the little utility space and then We've got the sink in here. So once we've finished the painting, my dad will come back and seal around the sink and um, around the worktop in the utility room, but we need to paint it first. But yeah, we are just absolutely over the moon. I cannot believe that this is our kitchen. Um, they also put the mirror up for us. This used to be in our hallway in our old house. Um, so for two and a half years it has sat in our bedroom waiting for a place and now it's going to be on our kitchen wall. So um, I've said to Will that we need to crack on with painting ASAP. Hello, here I am. Um, we're going to crack on with the painting as soon as possible so that we can move all our furniture in here and have it properly set up. I know what we're like and if we sit on it for a few days, a few days will turn into a few weeks and it just won't get done. So. We're gonna crack on with it as soon as possible. I'm just so excited, like,
completely over the moon and Winnie has found something to sniff. Good morning everyone, it's Friday, we made it. Um, I just want to address the elephant in the room. Um, I don't look great today and I don't feel great today. Um, yesterday I had some news that emotionally for me is really confusing um, and really has just left me emotionally exhausted to be honest. I didn't sleep all night. It's not something I can talk about and it wouldn't be appropriate for me to anyway but I just wanted to address like I say the elephant in the room because I know it's going to be obvious that I'm not myself. Um, my eyes are like golf balls. Um, so I just wanted to address, I'm okay. It's nothing to worry about or anything. Um, I've just had some really emotionally conflicting news and I'm sure you'll all put two and two together in a couple of weeks anyway, but um, I just, I'm really starting to feel like I must've been a horrible person in a previous life for the universe to keep punishing me <laughs> anyway before said news yesterday i um had set myself up painting in here because i think i mentioned it yesterday i really just wanted to get it done as soon as possible otherwise i knew that it just wouldn't get done for ages so i did the second coat hello <laughs> did the second coat on our feature wall um which looks really nice now and i also did the same thing in the downstairs toilet. So it's now all painted in here as well. It's like the worst camera angle ever. There are still a few bits, like I've just spotted that. Um, so it'll need touching up, but um, for the most part, it's looking okay in here now. Um, so it's just all the woodwork that needs painting and like this bit down here. And yeah, I did the first coat of cream on this wall and most of the utility space you just can't see anything on camera like it's really light and bright in here in person and on camera it looks so dark um but yeah so it all needs a second coat and like i haven't painted down by the washing machine um and then obviously the rest of the kitchen needs doing but i've made a start on it and um either later on today or um, at the weekend we will paint the woodwork and the coving and stuff and then we can actually move all the furniture in here which will be great it's will's like busiest time at work um at the moment so um i might have to go and get the woodwork paint myself and start cracking on myself i did most of this myself but he did help me um, yesterday evening a little bit um, I just really want to get it done and like want to have all the furniture moved in here and it's really frustrating because at the moment some of our stuff is still in the living room and then other bits have been moved in here so like you go to make a sandwich for lunch or something and like half the stuff you need is in the kitchen and half of it is in the living room and you don't know where things are and I just can't wait until it's all in here <laughs> everyone it's actually now monday but i didn't really film anything face to face over the weekend and i don't really think i filmed much of anything yesterday if anything at all so um i just wanted to share with you what we did over the weekend so that you don't have to wait another week 
to see it, although if you follow me on Instagram, which is always linked in the description below, um, you will have already seen uh, bits and bobs anyway. I didn't really feel up to filming over the weekend. Um, I basically just painted virtually for two days straight, well, two and a half days really, um, from like Thursday afternoon to um, Saturday night. And um, I did that so that we could move the dresser and the table into the like dining area half of the kitchen. And we did that, um, so I'll show you that in all of its glory um, in a second. Um, and then yesterday we decided to have a paint free day. So there's still quite a bit of painting to do in here. Um, the coving needs finishing on this side of the room. Um, there's one area that we haven't painted at all yet because it needs to be filled in first. The wall is a mess, so um, we need to do that at some point. Uh, the woodwork all needs a second coat um, on this side of the room, although thankfully there's hardly any. Um, and the woodwork and the door need properly painting in the downstairs toilet. Um, other than that, it is pretty much done, so um, it's exciting, but we can't move everything in properly until all the painting's done, so we will be doing that this week. But yesterday we just really needed a break from the painting, mainly me to be honest, because I have done, have actually done most of this on my own, which I'm really proud of, but Will did help on Saturday. So yeah, we had a paint-free day yesterday, but it doesn't mean I wasn't doing anything. Um, I organised my craft room so I could finally get all of the boxes of stuff from the kitchen out of the craft room. So I completely organised that. I've got some new drawers for the rest of the dog's stuff. You guys will have seen my new pup drobe, which I love, but um, the dog still had other bits and bobs that aren't on that. So I was able to get a cheap set of drawers um, from Home Bargains to um, pop the rest of their stuff in. And we also moved some of the furniture around in the living room because now that all of the dining furniture and the dresser and everything is out of the living room, our living room is massive. <laughs> so um, we are rearranging things in there as well. So I'll show you that. Um, I'll stop rambling. Let's just show you. So as I said, we do still have painting stuff everywhere because the painting is not quite finished. Um, but like I say, we will try and finish that this week. Um, and there's some recycling on the side because our recycling bin is full. First of all, I'll just show you the obvious, which is that we now have the dresser and um, dining table in here with the mirror. Um, I feel like on camera, it's maybe looking a little bit cramped, um, but we have so much space. And because there are only two adults living here, we don't use all of these chairs anyway, so it doesn't matter that there's one there. And actually I've kind of put it there as like a barrier to the dresser. I'm hoping that if people are allowed to come round at any time soon, they won't choose to sit there because it's close to the dresser. Um, we do have space on this side of the room in this corner, but at the moment the dog's bowl and the dog's bed and the bin is round in that corner. Um, so my dresser is looking gorgeous. It's pretty much exactly the same as it was um, in the living room, but I've just swapped it round so like the plates and everything are over on that side. Um, this side of the dresser um, really needs repainting. It was up against the wall and it's been scuffed and stuff over the years, but I've run out of paint annoyingly, so um, I can't paint it. <laughs> so once I've got some more paint, I'll be able to do it, but pretty much everywhere that sells it for a reasonable price, sorry, is closed because lockdown. So it'll get repainted eventually, but for now it's fine. I'm just glad to have it in here. Um, the dining table obviously is there. Um, I've got my laptop there because I'm working from home and I'm on my break from teaching. Um, the utility, we've got the dust sheet down because I was painting the woodwork in there. Um, that's pretty much done in there. I just need to take the tape off from around the window. And I want to give the windowsill another coat because it's a little bit patchy. Um, but I've got the dog stuff out here. So all of their supplements for their foods are in there. There's a treat tin and their bowls. So now I like prepare their food out here, which I love. All of this will obviously be moved once all the painting's done and it can go in its place. The woodwork around the door and in the toilet, like I say, has had one coat of paint but um, needs another one and the door 
needs to be painted in general. Um, other than that, it's just the ceiling in here that needs to be painted. The ceilings everywhere need another coat. But yeah, so you can see the little dog bed and the bin there. The bin needs cleaning. I put a tea bag in it and it's dripped down the side annoyingly. And also I finished organizing the larder. So when I showed it to you at the beginning of the video, um, there were some baskets that I still needed. So I finally got different baskets for the crisps, um, a little basket for breakfast bars and like snack bars. And then in here, we've got one for like bread products. There's one in the back for baking. And then this is gonna have all of my like different teas and hot chocolate in it. And for a house that doesn't really drink, we have a lot of alcohol. I actually don't drink at all anymore really. Once in a blue moon. But yeah, so it's looking amazing. It just needs to be finished. I've got a shelf. Oh no, I'm gonna have a picture up here. I've got a shelf to put up there. Um, there's gonna be another shelf here, like a mug shelf. Um, I want to put a picture up in the utility room. But yeah, as you can see, that bit of coating's had one coat of paint and then the rest of it round here hasn't had any. And then the coving up here is all finished. So everything's at different stages, but the priority was to get this half of the room done. Hello. <laughs> so that we could move the furniture. And I think it looks great. So yeah, please excuse the state of um, this area. This is all stuff that doesn't have a home yet. I'm defrosting the freezer um, to clean it all out and sell it and I'm going to do the same with the fridge because we've put all of our stuff into the fridge and freezer in the kitchen now which is great. Um, the jugs are going to go up on top of the cupboards when they're all painted and then I've got a few mugs there that I want to sell um, and just a few bits and bobs that need to find their home. Oh can you hear the water dripping out the freezer? <laughs> Again we've got mess here. We bought selection boxes to go with all of the Christmas presents that we got the nieces and nephews and then we haven't been able to see them and the chocolate is going off at the end of this month, so we've just started eating it. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Um, and then those are Will's painting clothes. But we've got our storage basket here, and then Will's has moved down his bookcase from his office, um, because it matches the rest of the furniture in here. And what we're gonna do is have this great big armchair in this corner. So my parents have a chocolate brown armchair in storage at the moment that they don't want and it pretty much matches our sofa. So we're gonna have that there with like a little reading nook and there's a plug down there. So I think we're gonna get a nice lamp and put it in the corner and make that like a little cozy reading space. So yeah, Will moved his books down yesterday. And then, like I say, that's all stuff that still needs to be sorted. And then we've got our TV unit now in this corner because there is a door there, but you can't open it. It doesn't open, it's literally just a pane of glass. So. Um, we've moved the TV unit and the TV there. We've got bedding for the rabbits and a box of newspapers that need to go outside. Um, but yeah, so I think that looks nice there and it, it's easier to see from the couch. And that then means that we have this big empty space here. So I don't know if you guys, how many of you have been watching for a few years, but um, in our old house, we had like a faux fireplace. So we're gonna get one of those to go there eventually. But for now, the dog's bed and toys are there. Um, the sofa is a mess. All of this is just going to stay the same. Um, this is stuff that needs to be gotten rid of. Um, the spare worktop, spare tiles, um, empty paint pots and stuff, they need to be gotten rid of. And then this is my beautiful craft room. So as with anything there's a rubbish section. Although I say rubbish, it's actually not at all. Um, this is just stuff that needs to find a home. So I've got a cute print of Winnie that I've been sent. My two uh, degrees, which I framed and had on my wall previously, but there's no space for them now. A cushion and then a box of stuff that I'm selling. Um, so that still needs to be organised and moved. But the rest of it has all been tidied and organised and I love it. There's the dogs in the crate. They're having a little nap whilst I teach. And I absolutely love it. Obviously, this is still quite busy and messy. I have this extra chair, which I actually don't need, but I don't want to throw it away. It matches my dressing table, and my dressing table is still at home at my parents' house. My mum uses it. So 
I don't really know what to do with it, but <laughs> whatever. Um, so I bought these drawers in Home Bargains for really cheap on Saturday morning. And um, I've just got the rest of the dog's stuff organised in there underneath their lovely pup drobe. Um, so I spent an hour organising this yesterday. In here I've got um, spare pup drobe hooks, but I've got boxes of all their treats and chews and some enrichment toys. Um, funny costumes for photos and then bandanas and birthday related stuff. Oops, that's a, <laughs> this is a toy and a jumper that need to go into their memory box, but it's in the loft. Yes, my dogs have a memory box. This is Winnie's first jumper that she ever had. And that was Archie's first toy that he ever had. So yeah, um, in here is bathing and grooming stuff. So once these are out, this is just bathing and grooming. So I've got a grooming kit at the back, shampoos, um, sprays, brushes, wipes, and then their drying coats. And then in here, I've got outdoor stuff. So there's a few extra harnesses that I didn't want to put on the pup drobe, but I also don't want to get rid of. Jumpers and coats, and then um, my sling and loads of poo bags. So yeah, that's everything in the drawers. I think it's great. It's really useful to have it all in one place, in like one spot in the room. And all of the stuff in the drawers came out of my Calyx unit. So then I had two extra cubes of my Calyx unit that I could organize other stuff in. And I have my books, so yeah, that's everything. The house is finally getting there. Still a way to go, but it's gonna be great.